Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing good. I am Sumit and in today's video I'll be reviewing the Arctic MX4 thermal compound. Uh, so this product has got a really great response from users who opted for it and today I'll be testing it on my MacBook Pro uh, because it has been running really hot just from normal usage and the temperatures are around 100 degrees most of the time and it runs really really hot the body gets really hot uh, so let's see if this makes any difference uh, in the temperatures of this macbook uh, now as you can see right here uh, uh, the mrp of this product is around roughly 1500 rupees uh, but i got it for 800 rupees uh, on amazon and on this side you can see that uh, it is written 97 percent of the customers are uh, fully satisfied with this product now the last time that i changed the thermal paste i used this uh, generic thermal paste thermal compound so i think this might be the reason of uh, of this macbook getting really hot and getting really high temperatures now the net weight of this thermal paste is four grams uh, i think it can be used for around eight to ten times depending on the amount you use on a single chip now before applying this let me show you what are the current temperatures that i get on my macbook now as you can see that the current temperatures are around 70 degrees 72 degrees celsius uh, this is when the laptop is sitting idle and there are no applications running in the background uh, now i'll just open safari and browse through some internet and let's see how the temperature rises now uh, the temperature is already 90 above 95 degrees uh, i'll just open youtube and show you uh, it gets even hotter now it's around 100 and as the page loads it gets around 104 which is really hot and i think if the temperature gets any higher the laptop will automatically shut itself down uh, to prevent any damage to the cpu now as you saw that the temperatures average between 95 to 100 degrees on normal usage I've just been you know scrolling the web page up and down and the temperatures are skyrocketing uh, now let's change the thermal paste and see if it makes any difference now firstly we'll have to remove all the screws that are holding this back plate in its place and this is the bit, uh, a pentalobe screwdriver bit is what we need to do it. Now that we have removed the back panel, we'll just start by giving it a clean up and then after that we'll remove the heat sink to apply the thermal paste on it. Now after removing all the screws we can just remove the heatsink from the laptop and this is how the previous thermal compound uh, looks it is in a pretty bad shape now we'll just have to clean it off from the heatsink and also from the CPU and we'll just apply a new one uh, which is the Arctic MX4. Now after cleaning up all the residue from the previous thermal compound, we'll just apply a small amount of thermal paste on the CPU and let's see if the left chip also makes contact with the heatsink and I think it does so I'll apply a small amount of paste on there as well.
all right now that we have replaced the thermal compound with arctic mx4 uh, let's just turn on this laptop and see what cpu temps do we get now uh, on idle and at normal usage so the temperatures that i'm getting right now after replacing the thermal compound are around 67 to 68 degrees and they are not fluctuating as much as we saw before now i'll just open safari and see how much the temperature gets so it is reaching around 90 degrees uh, so we'll just open a web page and see how much it gets when it loads so i'll just open youtube now while the page loads we can see that the temperatures are reaching around 90 to 92 degrees celsius uh, which is a good sign there because previously we saw that the temperatures were hitting the 100 degree mark now let's just uh, scroll this web page and see how much the temps get so the temperatures are getting stable at around 90 degrees and it is not going above 90 degrees so which is a huge improvement uh, as compared to the previous thermal compound because at that time the temperatures were already 104 105 degrees on just normal scrolling uh, of the web page now let's see what temperatures do we get when we uh, run a benchmark test so there is an online benchmark tool uh, known as basemark I'll just run it and let's see uh, what temperatures do we get on there. So I'll just click on start. So the tool is loading up and it will take around 10 to 12 seconds to load up. Uh, now that the benchmark is running, we can see that the temperatures are around 80 degrees and now they are 70 to 75 degrees. They are stable at 70 to 75 degrees. So it is, uh, I can say that it is an, an improvement because I also used this tool previously and the temperatures never went below 90 degrees while using it. So the temperature difference is around 10 to 12 degrees and it is great that we can achieve this difference uh, just by replacing the thermal compound. And I would suggest you all that uh, if you are going to replace your thermal compound then only use uh, good thermal compounds that have uh, good thermal conductivities just like this arctic mx4 or similar uh, products in the same range uh, you can go for uh, you know deep cool thermal compounds or corsair or even cooler master thermal compounds so you can go for them as well so guys the arctic mx4 has lived up to its name and i can already see a huge improvement in my laptop's thermal conductivity uh, and also i would not recommend you to use these cheap thermal compounds to be used on your macbooks or any other expensive laptops because they can harm your cpu so if you're planning to replace the thermal compound of your laptop or computer just go for it you'll definitely love this product all right guys i'll just end this video right here thanks for watching it and also like this video and subscribe to my channel if you found it useful. Thank you.